Hi, welcome back. Another important quick update and important session for you. This I have already done a year back, uh, a year ago, like uh, in S400. The same thing I would like to show you in ECC, but that was the time it was not recorded properly because due to lighting conditions, I think at night I have recorded. So let me show you this one, what exactly it is. What is the topic today? So important to know, it is important how to find history of a customer. What is the sales summary in SAP ECC or S4 HANA? Okay. So it's this is a simple question. It looks like that certain times it might be an interview question for you. Probably someone would like to uh, check what is your support experience, how exactly it is useful. Okay. So I'm showing the blank page. Why I'm showing the blank page? Nothing here. I'm going to show you everything on SAP. Okay. Let's go back. Sometimes we need a fun. Okay. So let's go to VA03. You take any one of the order. Okay. So if you look at here, okay, there is a place called en environment or environment, what do you call? Okay. Here, if you go to the partner, display sales summary this we will call it as a customer fact state why what is the necessity know the history of a customer okay in a quick shot, snapshot for example he would like to know the history of sales order he would like to know the history of open sales order he would like to know the history of rejected sales order he would like to know the open deliveries and the partially deliveries or else you know fully invoice invoices which is not moved to Accounting like that, you know, which the, the invoices, which is got clear everything in one snapshot. How I can able to see this is the place where you can able to find uh, display the sales summary. Okay. Display the sales summary. It is very, very important. So probably you might have a question like that. I can able to get it my VBAK, VBRK, VBUK, VBUP and LIKP, LAPLs and VBRK, VBRP and VBPA. Whatever the tables you talk about that related to sales and related to your transaction data, okay? I can able to get it through tables. Probably it is not required, it is not necessary to know certain end user to know about all those things. Certain times if you ask a question, if you don't have an experience, most of the time they don't have access for SC16 or SC16 and live about SC11 and uh, other transaction. They don't have access to see the information at table level in production for end user specifically. I'm talking about certain times, consultants also don't have that is a different story. You'll get through firefighter access. Let's click this button. Display sales summary. So let me check whether you are using right screen or not. Yes, you are using right screen. So for example, if you look at here, so this is the address of this guy. Okay, I haven't changed. So you can able to see his indicators, the animal sales and all these things. So there is no much data. But when you little, uh, suppose, go down, okay? If I double click, it directly go to the customer master, right? Okay? And I need not open this one. For example, if I would like to see the delivery priority, we'll go to the same screen. This is the, this is like a snapshot. This is like in a shortcut of total information, total history of the customer. Let me try to show you. Go a little below, okay? So factory calendar, see this, all these are the partners. If I click here, it will automatically go to the partner screen. Okay. These are not changed. That's why you're not able to find it out. See how many orders it is got created, debit memo request, and what is the average? How many orders are open? How many total number of orders it is got created? This is giving how many debit memo requests got created, 14, how many invoices are created in this example. Probably you might have a doubt. I can able to see these are very less numbers, but in real time, assume that a distributor is there. In a month, he might rise like hundreds of orders. Okay, if it is a retail industry, if it is a manufacturing industry also, he might create hundreds of orders, certain times 40, 50 orders. If you look at that, 30 orders, okay, in a financial year, 40 orders, if you'd like to see that, last 10 years history of these orders okay it's a big snapshot you can able to dig deep down like certain times it's like you know proof 
picture proof what is the sales summary of this particular customer. This we will call it as a customer fact sheet. You must know this. If you look at this, okay. See, these are the invoices being processed. Okay, that means it is not at uh, completely released or completely, you know, cleared from accounting point of view. If you look at this, this particular debit memo request is fully completed. He is having three open. This example only, this small example only having a lot of queries around here. And what is the net value on particular date when it is got created? So you can simply investigate it if he done any mistake, okay? So let's come here. Look at this. These are the orders got created, okay? Let me try to show you something very interesting. See, what is the last order created? March 18, see, 2023-54. When it is the last bill, it is in February, March 2024, okay? See, orders, Blocked for billing zero, blocked for delivery. You have a snapshot, right? If you click here, you will get, it will similarly go to your BA05 open sales orders. This is very, very, very one of the beautiful functionality from SAP side to see the summary and to get all functionalities. If you don't know T codes also, you can able to get wherever he want related to this particular customer at a transactional level and master data level. Okay, let me try to create an order. Let's see. See, you remember this not on last order is 20354. Okay. Let's try to check whether it is going to update or not. Okay. So let's take this order. So let's save this. So now look at this 355, 20355. Let's go to BA03. There is a shortcut always. You can able to open here or else you can go to environment and you can try and shift F7 also. Okay, let's click here. So let's try to observe the data. Let's see. Let's try to observe the data. So now you will look at this last SD document. This is the document which is got created. This is how you can able to find the difference. Certain times it will come for you as an interview questions. Someone would like to check whether you really worked in support or not. It might be direct question or ND, direct question. Probably I can say that being an end user, if you don't have access for SAP, uh, SC16 or SC16M, how you can able to follow through to find the information related to his sales summary. Or at certain times he might simply ask a slight question where you can able to find the sales summary, what is the basic advantage? Or else, if he is little technical, then he would like to check you, check with you, what is customer fact sheet? It can be any question. That's why I'm telling you, you always have a grip each and everything so that you know it will be helpful, okay? You can able to refresh it, you can able to print this one, okay? So, so you can able to find information block and so certain things, if you click here, you can able to go, like, you know, view where exactly you would like to go. Quick information, if I want to go, I can able to go it. Okay, if you click here, so let's try to, if you would like to find any credit information, you can able to find, as of now, nothing is there. So order not blocked by using credit management, open sales orders, open deliveries, and like that. Let's click this simply, okay. Last SD documents. This is what we have a discussion, right? Let's click this. This is the place where what is the latest sales order which got created, which is got completed. All snapshot you can able to find at one place. Okay. So I think so. This is one of my successful Udemy forum. I'm currently holding 5,457 students, and this is the struggle of the current course is 106 the service, I'm going to add this video over there. And this is specifically suggestion from my side, if you would like to get into the, you know, the flavor of IDOCs, you can able to find five scenarios here. And this don't, without doing this course, don't try to enter into the real time, getting a master to write a functional specification. And I have few other courses, around 20 courses available at my end. So this is the basket of real time. If you really wanted to get into, uh, you know, the seriousness to 
you know prepare for your interview or else for you know work environment where you would like to be you know comfortable better try all these courses and this is my youtube channel okay where you can able to find um, almost 600 and plus videos almost close to 700 okay so that's it please keep in touch with if you want specifically something if you want it you can comment over there and i'll find my time and i will try to do the video if you really like this video please like this it is very helpful thank you so much have a great day jay hin appreciate my hard work if you like it thank you so much